Hi guys. Um, guess what? I've been practicing the piano again and um, I have loved playing the piano ever since I was six years old and my parents gave me this little tiny keyboard and my grandmother sat with me on the floor and taught me to play by number actually and um, I started learning how to piece two notes together and then three notes together and how to make a chord and then I started teaching myself, oh, I can make this chord and it kind of sounds the same if I just move it up, move it up. So I was learning different keys and how to make major chords and minor chords and all of that fun stuff. And, and then when I was a teenager, I was begging my parents, please, please, please let me take piano lessons. And finally they agreed and I went to my first piano lesson and she knew it was my very first piano lesson. And um, I was playing something called Mud Puddles, which sounded something like this. And I was like, oh, wow, what a letdown. <laughs> and it's because um, my, my ear was so far ahead of my technique. And so I already know how to do that stuff. And, uh, but she was trying to show me the right technique. And I was like, I'm light years ahead of you, lady. <laughs> but uh, I wasn't, not in that regard. So anyway, uh, in fact, I, I learned from a, a client of mine. I asked him, I said, why, why was I begging my parents to take piano lessons? And then I go and I'm so disappointed that when my father came to pick me up, he said, how was it? And I said, I never want to go back there again. I said, but I love the piano so much. And he said, um, he said exactly what I just told you. Your ear was way ahead of your technique. And if your teacher would have caught on to that fact, she could have caught you right up to speed technique wise with where your ear was. And um, I was very shy, so, you know, I didn't say anything to the teacher, like, I already know how to do this, you know, like, I just was very, like, listen to your teacher, <laughs> and that's what I did. So, um, then I went to college for voice, I was a voice major and music major, and um, before I changed my major, that is, and uh, so... You know, you have to take piano and it, part of your grade is you need to use the right technique. And well, my technique was a train wreck, but I hit the right notes. <laughs> so that was my argument. I'm like, if I hit the right note, does it matter where my fingers are on the keys? Um, <laughs> but yes, it does. And guess what? Because it was part of my grade, I I did it their way because, you know, I, w I wanted to try to earn an A in the class and... So I did it their way, and I'll never forget being in a, uh, 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 um, sometimes this chemo brain still affects me, but uh, I, I will think of it. it. I was in a practice room studio, and um, I started doing it their way. <laughs> and I was like, wow, their way is so much better than my way. You know, I wonder if, uh, you know, just like I could find one of my piano teachers and just say, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for showing me your way because it was so much better than the way that I was trying to muddle through things. And um, so once in a while, I go back to the basics, particularly with classical music, because that's where you can find like a lot of the fingerings and stuff written right in the music so you know where to put your fingers and that sets me back on track when I know that because I will do it their way because it's easier <laughs> and so I pra I've been practicing Chopin uh, Nocturne Opus number nine or, or Opus nine number two it's a very famous piece it's it's they sneak it in a lot of movies 
Um, they, they sneak a lot of Chopin into movies, and I can always recognize it because they're some of the most beautiful melodies. And uh, this one has, I know, been in some horror movies, and I'm like, why would you put this beautiful piece of music in this awful movie? <laughs> why? But, um, so, there's no horror film in the background. It's just me and this piano. But I do hope you enjoy it. Um, it's not perfect. I promise you that. Um, so please don't judge me. Don't judge me anyway. But just don't judge me on this especially. And um, also the reason why I post this stuff is because it brings me joy. And it brings me joy because I know that others have been touched by some of these music videos that I put out there from time to time and um, you know if it can brighten up somebody else's day then um, I love that so I hope you enjoy this
I made you that part again. And that is that. You can pick it apart or you can just enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> Thanks for listening.